Earnings is the biggest driver of stock's price. Whenever companies announce earnings, stocks can immediately react positively or negatively to the earnings and make big moves. Especially on stocks which have not been rallying into earnings or they have not been going anywhere for a year, year and a half, two years, three years, five years. If they have good earnings, then they suddenly start making a big move and that move can lead to a big uh, rally which can be very explosive some of the things like and I say to give you an example if you look at say uh, GRWZ last year right so here it came out with earnings and from that earnings it went and made 400 500 percent move before that the stock was not going anywhere for a couple of um, uh, months or years while fastly is another example of a stock which made the similar kind of a move here so it made 200 percent move or like and you know, if you look at ftch farfetch you'll see the same thing which is like basically here the stock was not doing anything since ipo and then good earnings came in and from from good earnings the stock took off and it almost went up 800 percent and couple of times other earning came in so it made 72 percent and then again like in a from earnings it made a move right so stocks react positively to earnings and there are you, you can look at any stock and you will see that at the beginning of a big move in the stock likely there was earnings now how can you find this information about earnings and organize yourself for finding this and that's very simple in order to do this all that you need to do is have a couple of sites bookmarked and have a process to do this daily. Uh, here are some of the things which I use for my own trading, for finding, uh, keeping track of earnings and be on top of earnings. And uh, these are all, some of them are free sites, some of them are paid sites. Uh, so the sites which I use are basically Zax. So when you go to Zax.com, you are going to look at earnings and earnings releases. So you will see that these are the earnings which came in, right? And you're looking for what is the surprise on those earnings. It also tells you reported time. So these earnings came in in the morning while these were after the market close. The one which are like these two are after the market close. And this you can also find what is the sales surprise. So these stocks are sales surprise. So this is pre Zax. In order to find this, go to the home page, look at earnings release. The other advantage is also it shows you earnings calendar. So you can find out which stocks are going to be having a earnings and what was their sales. You can see what was the surprise, how much was the sales, what is the guidance. You can see revisions, you can see dividends, play, everything which you can see and this is free. The other site where you can find earning information and which is a good site for earning information is earnings whisper so when you go to earnings whisper you will see that like and if you go to earnings whisper you're going to see calendar and when you go to calendar you will see that these are the stocks which are the earnings now here this is showing stocks which are having earnings you can look at it in a standard view or you can look at it in a list view and if you look at it in a list view you will see the stocks which are going to have earnings which you can see you can also see whether the earnings was before the market open so these are all which are before the market open or after the market close so there are not many earnings after the close but before the market open today carmax aci oga had earnings so that's another site which you can use so the other side the third site which i use is the fly now in this case of a fly i have a paid membership uh, and if you have a paid membership when you look at like and I say when you go to the news and analysis and go to the breaking news what you can do is you can organize these filters and if you take out all these filters and only keep earnings then what happens is you'll find stocks which are having earnings right and uh, so as a result of this once you put in this what you'll see is that only the stocks which are having earnings will show up right so you have only stocks which are earnings and this is very easy to find earnings then like say ashland had eps of one dollar fifty 
versus consensus 1.14 and things like that. Uh, while the fly is good, really good site for finding uh, earnings related news and also a little bit of commentary and context to earnings, uh, a paid site is called briefings.com. And when you go into briefings.com, typically when you go into briefings.com, well, what you can do is you can select for dual in play. And when you select dual in play, this is the news which is coming in. But you can select again filters here. And what I selected is only two filters, commentary and earnings. And when I set those filters, it tells you which companies had earnings. So Ashland had earnings. Not only that, like as I said, like the commentary and the color on earnings is much better on briefings so that you can find out what exactly is happening. So in this particular case, you see it also had an upside guidance uh, and then it will tell you more details about it. And there is a higher version, higher price version of briefings. If you opt for that higher price version of briefing, it has even more color on many of the earnings and uh, what is the likely trade and things like that, right? So you'll see here, HLMN had a earnings, it had an upside guidance. Uh, if a company misses earnings and this way you can find out what is happening after the close or before the close there is a summary so they will have a summary uh, they will also have before earnings they will have a color on what is likely to happen in earnings so it's a very useful site uh, it's a little bit expensive I don't know how much I pay I think it's 50 60 dollars a month uh, but uh, this is a good site for finding earnings the other site which is good for finding earnings is uh, or earnings data is market smith so if you want to see say what is the earnings on a particular stock grwz you will see that it's growing at 46 percent this is where the earnings was going the other advantage of using market smith is that it has also funds information so you will see that it had uh, the fund fund ownership summary right so that's a, another thing which is useful so if i find a candidate I'll always check on uh, MarketSmith. The problem with MarketSmith is that uh, it takes time for them to update earnings. So if today, say which company came out with earnings, so Ashland came out with earnings, this is not going to be updated by MarketSmith till 8 o'clock or something. So this particular figure may not be the latest figures. Uh, there is a lag period and this becomes a problem in the morning if some company comes out with earnings you will see that those figures are not updated for quite some time. Uh, sometimes they are not updated till around afternoon in uh, MarketSmith. But uh, it is a good tool for finding the trends of earnings. So if you want to find out, like say, what is the trend of earnings on Farfetch, uh, so then you can see, like you look at it at earnings here, earnings growth rates. You can also see the EPS growth rate. So I look at the earnings also the sales growth rate in market space. So these are some of the things which is like the, the fly, earnings whisper which is free, uh, the uh, uh, Zacks which is free, earnings whisper which is free, and briefings.com is paid. Uh, in the case of the fly, if you don't have a paid membership, you can still find information. Uh, in that case, it will be only limited information, but you can still find some information and market smith. In addition to this, you can also find earnings information and the trends like this on Fidelity if you have Fidelity account and if you go to Fidelity and go under research and you can like and basically find uh, information through CompuStat database which is a very uh, good database and there you can find information for many years of uh, data on earnings and sales. So those are some of the free sites and paid sites which you can use to research earnings. Now the earnings season has started and because the last earning season, there are not many stocks which had a big breakout. The more time passes between stock not making a big move, then it is more likely that you are going to get some big moves out of this earning season.